Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome if you are new. In today's video, we're gonna be carrying on with our Colour Along in Rita Berman's book. So I think we're gonna go ahead and do this one today. So I will zoom you in and we'll get started. So the first colour I'm gonna go in with is UBE Purple and I'm gonna make a start on these grapes here because I want these to look like dark purpley kind of grapes. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a base coat on these and I'm just gonna use light pressure but make sure that we've covered the whole grape with a bit of this colour. So I'm looking forward to getting my new book from Rita Berman. So I hope you guys are excited to see the new videos that are going to be coming up when it arrives. It's um, being posted from Germany, so I might have to wait until, I think it said like the 13th of September. Um, but hopefully it'll arrive a little bit sooner and we can make a start on doing some colours, um, colouring in that book, which will be exciting. So I'm quite looking forward to that. Next, going in with Amethyst Purple, I'm going to go ahead and add some shade to these grapes. So I want to shade sort of anywhere where they um, overlap each other. So like here, this one would cause a shadow onto this one. So I'm just going to use normal pressure and then lift the pressure as I come towards the edge of each grape. So in this one, I'll add some right into this little corner here where it would be in a bit of a shadow. And then we'll do the same here. So anywhere where I think that the grapes would sort of cast a shadow onto each other is where I'm going to add in this darker colour. And then just lift the pressure as you come towards the edge. Then going back in with the UBE purple, I'm going to fill in these ones here because I didn't realise that I had some grapes down here as well. So I'll just go ahead and do a base coat on them with the UBE purple. Then going back in with amethyst purple, we'll add a little bit of shade to these. Next, taking parakeet green, I'm going to make a start on these leaves here. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and add this colour down and I'm just going to use light pressure for this and go ahead and fill in the leaves themselves. And I think we might use this to fill in like these little details here, just where we've got like a little bit of green that would be peeking through. And we'll do the same for these over here. Next, going in with forest green, which is quite a darker colour, we're going to add some shade to this. So the first thing I'm going to do is sort of darken up just the very edges of these little tiny pieces here and just leave the lighter green in the middle. We'll do the same on these. 
And then for this big leaf, I'm going to go over the lines that Rita's drawn in and darken them up. And the same for these ones. We'll just go ahead and darken up this central line. Then going back in with Parakeet Green, I'm gonna go ahead and fill all of this in properly. So I'll just use a bit more pressure and make sure everything is nice and colorful. I'm going to go ahead and fill this in as well in green. I'm not quite sure what it's meant to be, but I'm going to do it green. <laughs> Next, going back in with UBE purple, I'm going to make a start on the juice in the glass because I want this to look like the grape juice. So I'm going to go ahead and do a light base coat in here where the juice is. And then I'm also going to do a light base coat on the bubbles that are coming away from the juice and up here where they're coming out of this jar. Then going back in with amethyst purple, I'm going to start to add some shade to this. So I'm going to start off by darkening up where these lines are because this would make the juice appear a little bit darker. And then I'm going to add a little bit of this down the bottom of the glass. And I'm just using light pressure for this because I don't want it to be too dark. And then I'm just going to run it up this edge here. Sort of join it along the bottom. And then for the bubbles, I'll just add, still using light pressure, just a little bit of this colour to some of these bubbles. Next going in with our white pencil, I'm going to go ahead and blend this together because I didn't want to go back in with the UBE purple because I don't want to make it any darker. I want this to look like it is actually lighter. So it's been like made with some water and sort of reduced the colour a little bit. And I'm going to do the same for these little bubbles. So I'm just going to go over them with the white pencil. Next, going in with Peacock Blue, we're going to make a start on this vase here. So I'm going to start by adding this colour anywhere where I want like this lighter blue to be. So I think we'll focus this on these big sections. So I'm going to go in with the base coat first. I think we'll do this big section up here as well. And the handle I think would look nice lighter. So then going in with Mykonos Blue, I'm going to add some shade to this. So for this big piece here, I'm going to add a shadow coming from this line here. So I'm just going to use normal pressure up against the line and then lift the pressure as you come down so that it fades out nicely. Then for this top section, I'm going to add the shadow up here around this top edge. And then just lift the pressure to blend this down. For 
the handle, I'm going to add some shadow here where it's closest to the big part of the vase. So I'm just going to run this around this edge side here. And then again, I'm just going to lift the pressure so that this blends out into the lighter blue. So I'm going to go back in with Peacock Blue and go ahead and fill this in and take it over the darker blue too. And then with these sections, I'm going to go over where we left the lighter pressure, just using normal pressure. And I'm going to start to bring this colour down, but I'm going to leave some of the lighter pressure right at the bottom of this section. And then we'll do the same here. So just normal pressure when you're going over the darker blue. And then again, I'm going to lift the pressure so that we have a lighter patch right at the bottom of this section. Going back in with our white pencil, I'm going to go ahead and go over where we left the lighter colour at the bottom. And then I'm going to use Peacock Blue to fill in these little decorative sections down the bottom here. So just use normal pressure for this and fill this in. And then I'm going to use this to fill in these top little triangles as well. Then going in with amethyst purple. So I'm just going to go ahead and use normal pressure here and fill in these top triangle sections. And then I'm going to use it to fill in in between these little bits of blue that we did down here. Then going back in with UBE Purple, I'm going to go ahead and fill in this line across the bottom. this one at the very bottom and then we'll use it to fill in this little decorative pattern up here and we'll go ahead and fill in these two outer lines as well And then we'll fill in the middle sections. Then I'm going to go back in with amethyst purple and fill in around the middle sections as well. So again, I'm just going to use normal pressure for this. Go ahead and fill in these middle sections. Then going back in with Mykonos Blue, I'm going to fill in these um, bigger triangle shapes. Then taking Peacock Blue, I'm going to fill in the tiny little ones at the bottom. Then sticking with Peacock Blue, I'm going to make a start on this little flower. So I'm going to go ahead and fill in the centre and then I'm just going to take it um, halfway, well, three quarters of the way up the petals and just leave a little bit of white at the edge. Then we'll go in with Mykonos Blue and just darken up the centre of the flower. 
and then I'm just going to take it ever so slightly up into the petals. Then going back in with our white pencil, just going to go ahead and push this colour right up to the tip of each petal. Next, going in with pink macaroon, I'm going to go ahead and make a start on the background. So I thought we'd do the background pink. So I'm going to go ahead and do a base coat on the background. So I'll just use probably normal pressure, not, not too much pressure because we're going to add some more colours to this. But I want to use enough that it shows up because sometimes if you don't use enough pressure with the lighter colours, you really do lose them. So I'm just going to go ahead and go over the glass as well because I want it to look like you can see the background through the glass. Go ahead and do a nice base coat all over the background. Next, taking Flamingo Pink, which is a little bit darker, we're going to start to add some shading. So the first place that I'm going to darken up is sort of in between these grapes because this would be a little bit darker. So I'll go ahead and sort of fill in around them. and then just lift the pressure off as you come away from the grapes. I'll go ahead and fill in all underneath here because that would all be in a little bit of a shadow. And then again, lift the pressure off as you come away. Go ahead and add a shadow from the glass. So all underneath would be a bit darker and then up this edge and again I'm going to lift the pressure to blend that out we'll go ahead and darken up this corner as well add a little bit of shadow around these grapes and then we'll do a shadow underneath the jug and along the right hand side in here too and now I'm going to lift the pressure to blend this out Add a little bit of shade around these leaves. And we'll darken up this top corner as well. Go ahead and darken up this corner. And then here I think we'll just add a little shadow under each of these little bubbles. And then I'm going to also add a shadow in around the juice on the glass and then 
just lift the pressure off to blend that out. I think we'll go ahead and darken up the bottom of this as well. Okay, so going back in with Pink Macaroon, I'm going to start to blend this out. So anywhere where I've put the shadow, I'm going to go over with a bit more pressure. This bottom corner I'm going to fill in. And then we'll go ahead and fill in the other side of this as well. We'll leave this bit here a bit lighter. Go ahead and blend this out. I'm going to add some more pressure here around the edge of this glass and just underneath this line here. And then we'll go ahead and blend out the shadow from the bubbles. I think we'll fill in this little bit here right up against the grapes as well, just to make that bit there a little bit darker. Add some in here. Okay, and then going back in with our white pencil, I'm going to go over anywhere where I've left the lightest pressure. Go ahead and blend that together. Okay, next going in with our Posca pen, we're going to go ahead and add some highlights to this. And I'm also going to go around this glass to make it look a little bit more like a glass. So I'm just going to go over the outside lines to begin with. I'll just follow these along. And then I'm going to go around the bubbles and get rid of the black lines on the bubbles. Then for these grapes, I'm just going to add a highlight where we left the lightest pressure. So I'll just go through each one and add the highlight in. And for this vase, I'm going to add a highlight to this edge, which is where we left the lightest colour. And then I'm going to add some little dots into this darker purple because I think it's a little bit too dark. So this should just brighten it up a little bit. And then we'll just add a little highlight here. So it looks like it's got a bit of a shine on it. Okay, you guys, and that is how this little picture came out. And this is how the page is looking so far. So we've only got one left to do. So that will be Wednesday's video. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in the next video.